give it to Papa. And the poop, 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 I tell a man's not hot, cut, cut. I tell a man's not hot. The girl told me, take off your jacket. I said, hey, man's not hot. Yo, man can never be hot. Perspiration thing. Links effect. Yo, you done now. All right, guys, it's Team 3 Star back with another One Piece Banner's video. And in today's video, we're looking at who's who. I actually did a recording before playing him, but I feel like now I can kind of get my two cents on him. Um, on the old recording, I did say that I wasn't really the biggest fan of him. Like, he's, he could be really good when he's really good. But, you know, if you're getting shit on, you're, you're gonna get shit on. And I kind of, I'm still with that mentality. It really depends on your teammates, too, on this character. Um, so, I don't know. I'm, I'm really iffy on this guy. You guys gotta let me know what you guys think about who's who in the comments if you want. Um, but, I mean, after using him, he, he does good damage. Uh, he can do pretty well at level 80. It's just like, I don't know. It's really 50-50. A lot of the characters do fuck him up. Like, um, a really good Big Mom could really beat your ass. Uh, Kaido can kind of fuck you over, especially because your heal traits. There's a lot of heal traits with him. Um, just kind of going on. Even Zoro, even though you're, you're buffed against him, he can kind of beat your ass too if you're not careful. So, I don't know. Uh, so, I don't know. It's, uh... I don't know, he's, he's, uh, he's an interesting guy. I think I don't know a lot, but yeah, take a look at the medals today. We got uh, Fire Fist, Pistol, Red Hawk. It's the Luffy medal. When attacking an enemy in an area around your enemy's treasure, you get 5% uh, damage increase. It's full attack. And then for the second one, we have EX Luffy with uh, after KO an enemy, you get 5% heal. And this is a full defense, 14, 14, 18. Pretty good rule there. It's basically my Drake set if you haven't seen it already. Uh, his character boost is uh, 20 out of 20 or 20 out of 52. Um, it's skill one, the Fang Pistol. It's a long range area attack that will decrease defense and has an effect that further lowers the defense of Straw Hat type characters. Acquire, uh, attack ignores uh, obstacles, ignores stagger for a period of time. It's an eight hit combo uh, that does 566 damage per hit. It ignores obstacles, like I said, so it can go through walls, uh, buildings, uh, mountains, everything. So it's pretty easy to abuse. Uh, I'm, I kind of like it a lot. It's a good skill for what it is. Um, the defense reduction is 10% for 20 seconds. The cooldown on the skill is 22 seconds. And then if it's a straw hat, it's 30% damage uh, re uh, defense re reduction. And that one is also 20 seconds. Pretty good uh, debuffer right there. And then we also have uh, Flash Fang. Uh, or Fang Flash, sorry. Um, it increases your own defense. A long range charge attack with knockback, area, uh, with knockback effect. Damage that will disregard damage reduction, not defense. That's pretty, you know, not worthy. Uh, nullify stagger for a set period of time. Uh, the, your defense is increased by 30% by for 20 seconds. Pretty good there. Uh, the skill attack is 453. It ignores the, uh, damage reduction that has knockback, and it's on a 37 second cooldown. Pretty good stuff there. The attack boost for the team boost is, you know, generic attacker one. Looking at his traits though. When attacking character type Straw Hat Pirates enemy, increase damage dealt by 30% and reduce the cooldown times of skill 2 by 5%. It's pretty good there. When attacked by them, by Straw Hats, you re reduce damage to you by 30% and reduce the cooldown time of dodge by 50%. So you can get some pretty uh, nifty dodges there. Uh, first hit of certain normal tags ignore obstacles. So just the first normal, the one that he does a thing, pistol, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, that goes through walls. Um, so it's pretty it's pretty fun to, to use that one, I will say. <laughs> I had a couple of times when I do that uh, against like Zoros, and so they get kind of mad, uh, especially on like Arlon. I did it to this one Zoro, I forgot to record it, I wish I did. Um, but I was shooting my my first normal attack, and every time I would hit him, he got mad, so then he, I guess he got mad. <laughs> uh, so then he used his skill on the gate, and you know, it doesn't go through the gate, so he just fucking wasted his skill, so I thought that was pretty funny. Um, and then for the set period of time, if they're using skill two, you resist stagger, uh, being down to nullify, uh, and nullify, not and knock back. And then you also nullify status effects inflicted by enemy. Um, pretty good there as well. When your HP is more than 70%, you increase damage dealt by 30%, so keeping your HP pretty high is really good uh, as well. When using skill two to attack something with HP that the enemy created, increase damage dealt by 200%. So that skill two is meant to be taking down walls, uh, any constructs. So like for example, like Dofi, uh, Mr. Three, Monet, 
Especially because with it, with their uh, buffs, uh, he can uh, take it out pretty quickly. And I'm sorry for that beep. That was my alarm clock. But um, yeah, it's a it's a pretty good um, uh, skill for that to take him down pretty quickly. Uh, for trade two, after receiving damage from an enemy, which is less than 10% of your match, max HP, you reduce cooldown time of skill two by 5% and recover HP by 3%. So if they're doing less than 2% and lower for the any hit that you're taking, you're actually going to be healing though. So it's, it's a really good trade there. Um, it gives them a little bit more survivability. Even if it doesn't heal you all the way, it can still you know reduce damage in uh, its own way, I guess. When you use skill one to attack character type shot high pirates, increase cooldown time of enemy skill by 15% and recover HP by 30%. So that's a major healing uh, trait as well. And then for his boost trait, it's increased crit damage up by 20%. Um, but like I said, I don't know. He's he can be really good. It's just I'm really on the fence uh, of him being like top top tier like must max because obviously he's not going to be there i don't think so i think jimbe was the better unit on this on the bounty fest but he is pretty good he has a niche spot right now uh especially countering quote unquote uh straw hat character so against ex luffy he's phenomenal against zora i feel like it's 50 50 though because he does change colors but you know later down the line when uh more straw hats come out which they eventually will uh he'll be pretty good uh i think um and then for the support we are rocking 164% with Runner, Straw Hat Pirates, Pemisa, Captain Grandline, and Worst Gen. A little bit of New World, Attacker, and Defender. So I wanted to make him a little bit more tankier since he has level 80. Instead of focusing on damage. I think once he's level 100, uh, I'll probably focus that on, on, on damage instead of a, uh, like a Grandline setup. And I feel like uh, another thing about him too. He might be one of those units that benefits from being max. I mean, every unit benefits from being max, obviously. But, you know, having that, set, that third metal with uh, like more stats, um, more cooldown, would really benefit this guy a lot. Like I said, mine is only 80, so, you know, somebody that has a max can do a lot better than what I'm doing, especially damage-wise, so that's just something that I just kind of noticed as well. For my side unit, uh, I am using Marco. I actually tag into him pretty often, uh, just to uh, clutch wins. Uh, it's a generic cap speed set, uh, Red, Dofi, Runner, Law, and Wapul. With a little bit of defense, the percentages don't really matter. I need to reroll that law, uh, that law metal anyway. Um, but yeah, um, let me know what you guys think about who's who. Uh, let me know what you think about my gameplay. Uh, I'm trying to like get like really really good ones. It was really hard to record this guy. I'm gonna let you know right now. Um, it was it was a struggle <laughs> to win. A lot of times I do really good, but we still lose. Or I've also been having a lot of lag issues lately. I'm not sure if anybody else has been getting a lot of lag, but um, it's I don't know. It's been a little bit off uh, for me. Uh, on this game uh it's it's been interesting but yeah you can let me know what you think about who's who in the comments if you want um but yeah with that being said this is three star sign out and see you guys next video peace
So here we go. I'm about to make myself retarded. 